Hello YouTubers, good morning. Today I want to show you my new project DC AC inverter, the pure sine wave inverter. But now I'm making new 24 volt to 240 volt AC inverter. Everyone know the 24 volt have a more advantage because you can use a small size wire for any high wattage because of high voltage and low current consumption okay but now I'm using a EI core from TDK EI50 okay look here I'm using EI50 core from TDK self winding Look at uh, data sheet EI series EI50 core from TDK okay. the parameter and then the calculated output power 554 watts at 100 kilohertz switching frequency each core maximum power can deliver 500 watt each so I parallel to and make output to 1000 watts. The input 12 volts. Eh, sorry, sorry. The input 24 volt from the DC bus step up to 300, 330 volt DC. The 330 volt DC to the mod modulation board. The high voltage chopped by sine wave generation. And then sine wave pre amplifier, PWM generation, and dead time generation, and H bridge circuit, H bridge driver by IR210. And finally, the H bridge MOSFET IFP. Send the modulation, low pass filter, 3. 0.5 milli henry and then filter by smooth capacitor 2 microfarad 400 volt and the outlet to AC and read it by power and watts meter checking a uh, voltage input Twenty six point nine input and uh, output from uh, DC DC converter. Three hundred twenty five point eight volts. Oh. The high voltage. Send it to the sine wave modulation ball. Okay, let's check in uh, sine wave modulation. The frequency 50 hertz. Okay. Pure and clean sinus modulation. I'm using a KA3525A PWM switching and a high power MOSFET from International Rectifier IRF3205 capable 100 amp load each 100 amps MOSFET each transformer is switching a uh, parallel 200 amps 200 amps and other side fast recovery diode 5 fr 605 rating 500 volt each and a smoothing capacitor and capacitor banks for high voltage uh, 220 microfarad 450 volts Storage energy 
raw output DC DC converter 330 volt DC ok this a balloon chop preventer EMF back to DC line ok this my battery battery pack 24 volts about the uh, H bridge MOSFET from Sunwave generation I'm using uh, international rectifier FETs IRFP 460 this FETs capable deliver 20 amps at 500 volts the high power MOSFET I'm using uh, maximum load uh, calculated about 2500 watts the maximum load these fats they have a very special fats checking uh, during standby mode the consumption very low only 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 amps 0 0.4 it's a very low consumption during standby. Let's see the output using watts meter. Watts voltage output 238 AC volt 50 hertz and then nothing. This is from outputs. For the examination, I'm using a 500 watts cutting angle grinder. Testing the load, how many voltage ripple. Okay, let's try some load. At 500 watts, we only consume about 38.6 amps. 500 watts, 38 amps. Hmm. Okay, let's make some calculations. The simple search calculation, 500 watts grinder. Okay. The peak search ca capture, 38.6 amps. We capture from a flux. 337 through RMS climb meter so we got a 38.6 amp divide by voltage 24 we got a 926.4 watt search for angle grinder the conclusion is 500 watt device you must make a 1000 watt search I bought the new casing for my inverter the metal casing has four point very cheap about 48 ringgit Malaysians hope I have a new inverter okay thank you bye bye